Good morning everyone, it's Ali and I thought today we'd kind of talk about my writing project, the resources I use for writing, and things I've learned so far in university as a creative writing student. I've learned a lot on my own as a writer. I went into university kind of being like, I don't think I'm gonna learn that much. I don't know if there's that much more I'm gonna want to know about. A lot of people ask themselves if creative writing is worth it and kind of just what the degree is like in general. So I kind of wanted to answer some questions, answer some questions about my writing, my process all of that and just have a whole writing chat today i had my first class canceled so i was like i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna film we're gonna talk about this that's exactly what we're doing first i want to talk about the resources that i utilize a lot for writing so right now i am in the revising stage of my manuscript so i'm combing through it first i'm focusing on plot so i'm going through the whole manuscript kind of taking a look at how each scene serves the story if it serves the theme if it's moving it forward that it's not just all these extra bells and whistles that don't need to be there. I have been listening to this podcast. I forget the name. What is the name? Find it. Oh, it's You Are a Storyteller. And I actually had to listen to it for my class, but I've been getting so much out of it and I've really enjoyed listening to it. We were talking about an armature, which is basically a theme and you have one. You don't have more than one theme. Right now in my story, I'll use this as an example. The theme is if you stay in your grief, it will devour you. Everything in my story has to serve that every scene every every single part of it has to serve that if a scene is just like this extra bell and whistle that like doesn't need to be there it's just like it's just there and in the podcast they were talking about how filmmaker or whatever was trying to get this good arrow sound so who's making arrows he learned over time that a good arrow doesn't make a sound so if you have all these extra things on your arrow they're going to make sound they're just going to be extra noise it doesn't need to be there so I've been listening to that podcast and it's been so helpful, but I use Save the Cat. This is the right to young adult novel. I also have just the good old novel version and I put my friend onto it as well because she's also a writer. And this Save the Cat, the most helpful, helpful thing when it comes to plotting and outlining. I have been using this as I'm revising and I actually found the online version of it. I'll pull it up to show you because I was just trying to find if there was an online version because I didn't actually have my copy with me. So I looked up Save the Cat and found their beat mapper and it looks like this. So you have the beat mapper here. You can input how many pages your manuscript is, whether it's a film or a novel. And then, so say if I put in 400, this is what I've been using as I'm revising. You can map it and it will show you at what page it's supposed to roughly be at. You don't have to follow it exactly but it helps so much and that is what i've been using as i'm revising like as i'm focusing on the plot and you're gonna need one of these you're gonna need one of these if you're revising or just writing in general you need to write everything down you're not gonna remember it all especially after you finish the project you set it down you give it a little time to marinate and cook some more you're gonna need this to make sure you remember everything that you wrote about so i've been going through and i don't want to show you exactly i'm gonna keep it far back here but some of you can probably read it so i've been writing down like the beat what percentage is that what chapter the title of the chapter the characters that are in that chapter the setting and then a quick summary of that scene of that chapter of that beat and then i wrote down in some of them some of the emotions around the middle of this i have just find it around the middle of it i have down some notes for the project i drew a little crest because i was trying to get it in my brain so i have written down everything in this it's so helpful i've done this for every single one of my projects i've done but it's especially helpful right now while i'm revising because i'm going through and i'm fixing every scene i'm adding in scenes if it needs it i'm really outlining it as i'm revising it so this is helpful to keep track of all of that i also have a planner so i can kind of map out what my goals are for certain chapters for certain milestones so i'm kind of writing down like oh i want to have this done these chapters done by this time these chapters done by then this by then i will really carry around these two and then i'll use the online version of the beat mapper when i'm going around and writing these are my life i carry this literally everywhere because i end up doing it in class i do it all the time when i started out i was really kind of doing i was following the save they had but not entirely i was just kind of reading it for like the general advice on like the story structure and i was looking at 
the three act structure which is you know the three act with the nine blocks and 27 chapters that's what i was following and i feel like it worked for the most part but i also got really just muddled in the middle of the story and so that's why especially i'm taking the time to go through and really fine tune these scenes that are in this second act because i want to make sure the readers not getting muddled and confused and bored those are the resources i use that i utilize while i'm writing through all stages of my writing project these are some of the key aspects to creative writing as a student in the major these are my thoughts on it so a lot of people when i either say i'm going into creative writing they're like oh do you want to be or i'm like i'm in the creative writing major they're like or do you wanting to be a teacher or like what are you wanting to do what is this major exactly and a lot of people are concerned if you will be able to have a career after being in this major and first of all i want to start with there are so many opportunities for careers for english majors so if you're wanting to go into something literary but creative writing might be too much of a gamble for you then english might be just way more safe for you it is still you're reading books you're analyzing them you're writing papers you're doing all of that creative writing just has it has a lot of the same aspects as the english major at least at the school i'm at but you also are taking all of these creative writing classes from prose to poetry workshopping so the english major for jobs you can do literally any company looks for english major because you're good at communicating you're usually well spoken you can communicate your thoughts effectively so that's always a green flag to companies but you can also go into like publishing you can go into like copy editing you can do literally anything with an english degree like a lot of people also go into marketing creative writing however i just know that a lot of people either go into like kind of publishing or the writing side of it but for as someone who's been in it for the last two years i have found that it is 100 worth it i've loved it so far i have gotten so much out of every single one of my classes when i took the beginner classes i was kind of like mm, okay kind of already know all this stuff i know what theme is i know how to, to do like the three act structure i know what all of this is like i'm i'm okay maybe this isn't for me because this is way too easy maybe i already know everything i got to my second level classes and i was like okay it's starting to kick in i'm starting to learn some more at the beginner classes you kind of at least on the pro side you look at the three act structure in the verse classes you're just kind of looking at different forms of poetry like the very basic ones like the sonnet like the haiku like that sort of stuff and i was kind of like okay so once you level up you're kind of looking at the different forms of short stories so we were looking at like bathtub stories we were looking at pattern stories we were looking at all these different kinds of short stories and discussing them talking about them and like why did the author choose this form why does the content support the form and why does the form support the content so we were like looking at all of that different stuff and it kind of really opened your eyes oh the form plays a really big part in the story that has helped so much in my writing in my verse class we were kind of like just stepping up with more complex poetry and workshopping it and the thing is a lot of people are like oh i could never do that like that's so workshopping is i don't want to talk about my writing you get used to it you really do i was so much that person that was like no one no one can read my stuff and then i got to these classes and you're forced to share and forced to talk about them and the feedback you gain is so helpful because you have such an like a close eye on your project and what you're working on in your writing that you might not see how that could trip up a reader or how that's portrayed to read so it is so helpful and all the feedback i've always gotten has been amazing they've been so helpful and the thing is too if you're like i don't want critique that is entirely what right like you have to be open to critique for writing if i mean if you want to grow as a writer you have to be able to share your work and if you're eventually wanting to become a novelist become an author you're gonna have to put your work out in the world and people are gonna read it eventually so it's easier to start small and kind of give them kind of kind of get used to these bits and pieces of sharing these short stories or sharing these small poems i also have gained such a relationship with my professors and the thing i've loved especially i'm at the university of washington and it's a very stem research school so the creative writing major is super small there's like 20 people in it max i continually have all the same classes with the same people and you're also more on a peer level with your professors i found in the creative writing major you they're like call me by my first name so like i walk to class i'm like oh hey maya and it's so nice it kind of takes that like pressure that like dauntingness 
out of it because you're kind of just looking for that like mentorship you're you're getting it's it's not so daunting because you're it's not like a big scary professor basically i don't know but because like all of my classes are so small i have them with all the same people so i've also gained such a relationship with all of my classmates we've learned to trust each other with our work we go and work with each other outside of class we're constantly talking outside of class and it's been so nice to have gained that in my classes because i was someone who was so scared going into university because i was like there's so many people these are all university classes i'm not gonna meet i'm not gonna make friends i'm not gonna meet people especially not people who are in my major but that has not been the case i have made so many friends through my major and we all have the same goals the same aspirations we all want the same things so it's so nice to be surrounded people with the same passion as you one thing i have also really kind of learned and what i've seen through being in this major is there's a lot of like different people like a lot of people who are at different places in their writing career in the major oh no this is going to die so you have to be willing to like go out and to do it and to finish your writing project you can't be saying that you want to or one day you have to sit down and you have to get it done you kind of have to have that that perseverance that self-discipline to do it i hope this was helpful it's kind of cut short because my camera's dying but that's the resources i use how i plan outline revise what i've gone out of college why i think it's worth it and yeah in the end just put yourself to it don't stop do what you love bye guys mm -hmm.